Oh, double hook up. This is what it's supposed to be about. <laughs> King is beneath them. King's underneath them. King's underneath them. High speed spinning is a great way of catching pelagic sport fish like salmon, tailor, kingies, bonito, and up north uh, species like uh, queenfish, mackerel, trevally. What it basically entails is, is casting out a metal lure and winding it in as fast as you can. So you need to have the right sort of gear for the job. My idea of a good spinning outfit is one that's light because you're doing a lot of casts um, and also with a really fast reel. Now what I mean by a fast reel is that when you turn the handle, the spool revolves around at a high speed. Some reels are low geared, so you turn the handle and it might only turn the spill uh, three or four times. Other reels, uh, like this guy here, are spinning reels, high speed spinning reels, so when you when you turn the handle, the spool revolves up to maybe six times, which, which means when you wind like this, that you're bringing in a lot of line and you're getting that lure in really quick. The reason why you want to do uh, a high speed is because what you're basically trying to do is fool the fish into thinking that a little bit of metal is actually a little bait fish. Now if you do it too slow, you're not going to uh, incite the feeding response of the fish. Also, you give it a bit of a time to look at the lure and then they'll see that it's actually a bit of metal and not a little fish. So the key is to get it out there, get it out there as far as you can, wind it back in as, far, as fast as you can. What I'm doing now at the moment, I'm fishing a reef system uh, in about 20 metres of water. Um, so what I want to do is cast the lure out, let the lure sink until it gets down, you know, maybe 10, 15 metres and then belt it back in. There's a couple of different retrieve styles. One, you can just wind it straight in like this. It's probably the most uh, popular way of high speed spinning. And then when the fish hit, it's, you know, you're, you're on and it's fantastic fun. Another way, which is popular with the guys who fish for mackerel up in Queensland and the Northern Territory, is to cast your lure out, let it sink down to the desired depth. Obviously, you've got to be careful, you're not going to let it sink it too far or you'll get snagged and then commence to retrieve as you would normally with a fairly high high speed wind and stop. And what that happens then when you stop, the lure obviously stops, sinks, any fish around will sort of be uh, interested in that lure stopping and then you belt it back in again, stop, belt it back in again and often you'll get whacked just as soon as you re start the uh, retrieve again. It's a really good way of, of inciting a, a response from a feeding fish. Now we saw some fish on the sounder, which is why I'm fishing this particular area now, but we've drifted off the mark, so what we might do is just go back and find those fish again and see if we can catch a couple for you. Okay, so we, uh, we found those fish again. Just got him on here. Uh, nice bonito, which are a great, uh, great spinning target. Hard fighters, love metal lures. Only a little fella. There you go. Nice bonny, spun up, a nice light tackle. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get some more action for you. Areas like this are called wash zones, and they're great places to spin for pelagics like tailor and salmon and so on. Uh, what attracts those fish to these sort of areas is the presence of this wash. Now the wash offers both the predators and the little fish, the bait fish that they feed on protection. And what you want to do with your lure when you're fishing out of a boat like I'm doing here now is to cast your lure in as close as possible to the rock zone without actually ending up on the rocks. Uh, we were fishing in deep water before and that's where I let the lure sink down into the sort of the target depth. Here you've got to be a bit careful because you're obviously in shallow water. You don't want to let your lure sink right down. Uh, some areas you can fish are really, really shallow. Uh, Taylor in particular like really shallow washy zones. The water can only be like a couple of foot deep. So what you've got to basically do is cast it out and almost as soon as the lure hits the water, commence your retrieve so you don't get snagged up. Um, you can also fish these areas from land. Uh, what you're doing there is you're casting out past the wash zone and bringing your lure back in. What you're doing with a boat is you're casting into the wash zone and bringing your lure back out. What the predatory fish mainly do is they cruise along that wash zone looking for any little bait fish. So if your lure is sort of zipping in and out of the wash zone, uh, and there's a, there's a predatory fish cruising nearby, you've got a good chance of getting whacked. You've just got to be careful, you've got to be accurate with your casts. You've just got to be careful you don't get snagged because it's uh, 
a real pain having your, your nice expensive lure sitting on a, on a rock. Um, but zone, wash zones like this are fantastic places to catch uh, a whole range of really popular uh, sport fish. Beach is a great spot uh, to uh, spin for uh, various fish, mainly tailor and salmon. Uh, you can do it from a boat like we're doing now or from the, the shore. If fishing from the shore, I'd be using a longer rod, say a nine foot model, just to get out a bit further and get over the waves. What you're looking for when you, you want to spin a beach is uh, not too much surf action, but enough to get it generate a bit of wash uh, to attract the bait fish in. Um, and you, you cast around uh, gutters and areas where the deeper water, where the predators are going to be, uh, going to be hanging around. When you're from a, fishing from a boat, uh, you've got to be really careful about safety, obviously, because waves are coming into the beach. I've got my mate Simo driving the boat for us. He'll keep a weather eye out for any waves that are coming in. But uh, spinning from a boat in towards a beach, really productive way of catching mainly salmon and tailor. Uh, because you're on a beach, nice, clean, sandy bottom, you don't have to worry about getting snagged up or any of those sort of things. You can uh, let the lure sink right to the bottom, retrieve it, try and uh, do a high-speed one across the surface. Uh, just uh, anything to inspire those fish to, uh, to smash your lure. I'd probably like a little bit more surge uh, on this particular beach just to generate a bit more wash. And also the headlands on the edges of beaches are great spots to try, either from the land or from a boat. Uh, there's a really productive headland just up here that I fish quite a lot, get some good salmon off that. We'll give that a go. Um, you're getting the best of both worlds in that sort of scenario. You've got the rock and reef of the headland. You've also got the, uh, the sand and the foamy wash and waves from the beach. So they're great spots to uh, try and really uh, easy to fish off um, if you're land based. A high speed spinning is a great way to connect to some fantastic hard fighting fish. We just moved to a different location, found a good school of kingies and bonnies, and we're into them. And why don't you get into it? <laughs>